As an owner of both an Xbox Series S and an Xbox Series X, this would be freaking amazing if it came to fruition. It would just make things so much easier, being able to share games around type of thing. And what we're looking at is a patent that Microsoft did file for back in November of 2020. Now, it was just published recently this year, so that's why we're looking at it now. But essentially, it's software ownership validation of optical disks, actual physical disks, using a secondary device. Now, that could be awesome in all reality. And I've seen some speculation and some thought out there of people, you know, kind of pointing towards, well, maybe Microsoft will make an additional product for the Series S, like an extra drive that doesn't actually play games, but validates discs. I'm not 100% if that will actually ever happen. Like, would they release an additional drive? I mean, if it was just a drive to validate discs and not to actually, you know, do anything more than that, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, that would be useful for people who don't own multiple consoles, right? So it, it could happen or there could be some kind of solution where it's like, hey, these specific third-party drives you could plug in through USB will work to validate disks. But what this patent is is kind of talking about is using like an additional Xbox that has a disk drive and validating the disk through that with your user login or whatever, you know, your, your uh, Xbox gamer tag, your account, validating that disk and then downloading a digital copy of it. We've been wanting this for, for a while, you know what I mean? It's not the same thing as you put in the disk and it like installs the whole freaking game, doesn't actually run off the disk. No, you, you pop it in, validates it, it gives you a digital copy on a system that normally wouldn't be able to you know play that game off a disk. So that, that could be pretty cool. Now let's take a quick look at a few things here. So the background, traditionally video game consoles have used optical media to deliver gaming content to players. For example, an optical disc comprising uh, the gaming content is inserted into and executed by an optical disc drive of the gaming console. Many current game consoles, however, are being constructed without optical disc drives. As a result, players are using gaming consoles without disc drives are unable to play their previously acquired discs on the current console. That's kind of what, not 100% what I walked into, but I eventually, you know, did have a, a, a multi setup where I have the Series uh, X in my living room and then the Series S like floats around type of thing. And the Series S is an amazing console in my opinion, but it would just get so much more use if the physical games that I bought could be played on it. Like the games that I had previously could be played on it like obviously i didn't buy physical games thinking i was going to be able to play them on the series s i I'm, I'm not an idiot but previously having you know different xbox consoles i do have a, a small collection of games and it would be awesome to be able to play them on whatever i want right so you know that's all they're talking about like a lot of consoles nowadays or you know this was coming from like the the xbox one sad the uh, all digital edition, right? I think this was that that time frame. Uh, it is with respect to these and other general considerations that the aspects dis disclosed herein have been made. Um, although relatively specific problems may be discussed, it should be understood that the example should not be limited to solving the specific problems, whatever, right? So they they just go on talking about how using the first device with the disc validating it and then being able to download it on another, uh, you know, console. There's supposed to be some diagrams. I can't find them. I did see like one diagram on this uh, Game Rant article down here where it just shows like local network, user device, uh, user device, like all these different ways you could transfer things around, right? To validate everything and to be able to download your games. This could be really awesome. I really have my doubts that this will ever happen, that, you know, with this being a patent that they applied for a couple years ago, who knows if like they will push this forward. This would have made a ton of sense for launch, right? Like because you know originally like back with the Xbox uh, one, they had a like all this this DRM thing, these uh, online only all the time, like the validate things that, you know, you could play your games, even if it was a disc type of thing. And 
you know, they got a lot of backlash for that. And then they kind of, you know, backtracked a bit on it. But then it's like, that still became the reality that we're in today. As an example, like recently, the network outage um, that they had, uh, it was uh, just the other week. Hi, uh, Tom Warren here notes, uh, this, this outage this weekend highlights the DRM offline issues Microsoft needs to tackle. Some Xbox owners were left without access to their single-player digital games, even on their Xbox home console, their console that was set to home. So, I, I mean, this digital world that we live in, it, if it can evolve in any way, that would be great. I know this isn't 100% to do with the, uh, you know, being able to validate discs, but if they can't even get this solved, and this is going into... 2022 they can't even get this solved with the drm issues i highly doubt that this patent will come to fruition and it'll be something that they actually push out there i really would hope for this to happen like that would be really cool it won't benefit everyone there's a lot of people who maybe they sold off their game collection and they did get an xbox series s because it was you know the cheaper option and it's an amazing for the price. Holy crap. You could get an Xbox Series S for like $250 on sale at times. Uh, on Woot, they've been having these grade A, like factory refurbished units, which probably just like damaged boxes, but everything's new inside. Not 100%, can't guarantee that, but a lot of times that's what it is with that like highest grade refurbished thing that they got going on. Um, for like 230, 240 bucks for an Xbox Series S to get into a, a gaming console like that for so cheap is freaking awesome. But like I said, there's not going to be as many people who could benefit straight away from something like this, because if you don't have that secondary console to validate the discs, like what's the point? Not everybody's going to benefit from that. But if it does go that route of, Hey, there is an additional drive, either you could purchase or Hey, there's third-party drives that just work to validate disks. That would be freaking awesome. Or, I mean, computers really don't have disk drives, you know, too often anymore. I still have uh, a computer set up with one that does come in handy. I do have a couple external drives, but m maybe to validate it, like, through your computer, any which way, you know, that this patent describes, like, validating disks would be awesome for somebody who just has that single console that doesn't have a disk drive. Because sometimes you can find physical games cheaper than the digital equivalent. Sometimes the digital games go on sale and they're really great sales. But, hey, that, that secondary market of used games or just sale games, you know, Black Friday deals or just sales throughout the year, buy two, get one free type of thing. Sometimes there's some really good deals that you can't beat. And if you had a solution to buy those discs and then validate it. But then I wonder if you validated a disc to play on your console, like, do you need to keep that disc? Because what if you were like, you know, I'm going to validate this and uh, download the digital version and then just sell the disc? And like, it would, it would create this whole thing unless each disc has its specific, like, ID on it. But then that would cause, like, a whole issue on the secondary market. Well, was this game claimed digitally or not, right? That's why, like, there's so many things that I could see being a, uh, causing a kerfuffle that this may never happen, like wishful thinking, but Microsoft, you know, thought it was uh, important enough to, to file for, you know, a patent on this. So hopefully something comes of it because I think it would be pretty interesting and fairly useful. Let me know what you think down below. Really do appreciate you guys. Bye.